Hi everyone! This is another video of what I ate on 1600 calories a day for a week on a balanced diet that's helped me lose over 45 pounds. I'm a work in progress, I always will be. I am not trying to be stick thin or one of these really muscular women. I just want to be nice and toned. Just still keep that feminine figure. But anyway, I hope you enjoy the video and I'll see you after I show you what I eat. Good morning, guys. Well, it's time for a new week of easy calorie counting and eating everything in moderation. No deprivation here. And I am in the mood for the taste of banana for my day one breakfast. Breakfast today is going to be two multigrain waffles with a healthy dose of fiber in them. That's important for me to stay full. A small banana sliced on top, one and a half tablespoons of chopped walnuts, a sprinkling of cinnamon and finally one and a half tablespoons of maple syrup warmed up in the microwave. I put the bananas on this way so I can get a full slice with walnuts and syrup on it. Oh god, this is going to be good. Oh, that is just perfect for this morning. Well, this breakfast has a total of 398 calories and I am off to a good start. For day one lunch, I am having my last piece left of white chicken pizza just quickly rebaked in the oven for a couple of minutes. I've got one and a quarter cups of fresh watermelon, a half a cup of chopped broccoli, and to make the broccoli stalks more palatable, I try to cut them into little strips here. And then finally I have six little pieces of fresh mozzarella cheese and these are actually kind of high calorie these little six pieces are about 140 calories but i fit them all into this diet and this is a dairy heavy week so i'm ready to enjoy this that is so creamy you have to try those if you haven't had any My day one snack before dinner is a slice of Swiss cheese and two fig bars. For day one, I have a nice all-American dinner of a four ounce chicken breast with the skin on, a little bit of salt, pepper, and spices on it. I have a medium baked potato with two teaspoons of butter rubbed on the inside and on the outside on the skin with salt, pepper, and Italian seasoning. And I have three quarters of a cup of cooked corn from Frozen with a teaspoon of butter and also a little bit of salt and pepper and Italian seasoning. I like to save enough calories to have some butter in there to give me a sense of real satisfaction and that helps prevent me from overeating, usually. The total for day one is 1,602 calories. Good morning everyone. It is day two and I am having for breakfast here what I call one of my crazy mishmash breakfast cereals. It is three quarters of a cup of bran flakes, half a cup of Cheerios, a third a cup of fresh blueberries, two tablespoons of almonds, and two tablespoons of raisins. Let's try to get a raisin in here.
do you guys have any combination that you make for breakfast cereal where you just mix a bunch of stuff together? I don't know about you, but I am sick and tired of using my Instant Pot right now because I don't feel like washing five or six different little components just to make some black beans. So I'm just going to cook them, boil them on top of the stove in my one piece saucepan for what, two or three hours? I'm home so it doesn't matter and I only have one pot to wash afterwards. Alright friends, day two lunch is one whole wheat tortilla, half a cup of black beans, a quarter cup of shredded sharp cheddar cheese, a small green leaf lettuce sliced up, three tablespoons of yellow corn cooked, and a quarter cup of green bell pepper and sumac on top. And some of that filling that I just mentioned is right here on the side because that always makes me feel like I'm having more to eat than I really am. And I have a cup of watermelon here as well. For a day two after lunch snack, it is time to break out the M&Ms. So I'm having one tablespoon of mini M&Ms and I'm going to eat these right out of the measuring spoon. For my day two dinner, I am craving a stir fry, so I'm just going to use some of these um, pre-cooked noodles that we already have, some udon noodles. Okay, my dinner for day three is a little lighter because I'm saving some calories for dessert. I've got about 200 calories worth of these noodles right here, three quarters a cup of cooked cabbage, as well as a quarter cup of cooked diced chicken breast. I've used about one teaspoon of olive oil to saute the cabbage and the chicken together. And then when it was all done and I added the boiled noodles in, I put another teaspoon of oil in there for like a, a rich uh, consistency after it was done. And then finally I put two teaspoons of soy sauce on top and one teaspoon of my favorite chili paste right here. For dessert, I'm having one of these fresh roasted Lance peanut bars. These are really good. Unfortunately, they are high in calories. They are 330 calories. They have nine grams of protein each, and I think this only has like three ingredients. It is Peanuts, corn syrup, and salt, I believe. I'm kind of addicted to these. Mm. My total on day two is 1,615 calories. Good morning, friends. It is day three, and I am starting my morning with my oat bran cereal here with a quarter cup of oat bran, half a cup of grass-fed whole milk, half a cup of cashew milk, two teaspoons of sugar, two tablespoons of raisins, and a healthy sprinkling of cinnamon. This kind of reminds me almost of rice pudding, except it's warm and just as delicious. All right, my day three lunch is going to be this whole wheat tortilla with a medium cabbage leaf that's been sliced up and two teaspoons of this mayonnaise right here, this Hellman's olive oil mayonnaise. And I really like that because it's about two thirds of the calories and fat of regular mayonnaise and it still to me tastes almost identical to regular mayonnaise. And on top of the cabbage and mayonnaise, I have two full slices of onion and so I have half of that here and the other half I have under the cheese so that when I fold this tortilla up I don't have the onion touching each other I got the cheese there and I have two full slices of Swiss cheese and I have a serving of rippled sour cream and onion potato chips and a cup 
of grapes and that is going to be my lunch. My day three dinner is kind of like a picnic meal. I was, I was craving picnic food. So here I have four ounces of chicken breast with the skin on, baked. This is half a cup of homemade coleslaw. My husband shredded all the ingredients. He does the hard work with that. And I just, you know, whipped together a dressing for that. I've got half a cup of Bush's Original Baked Beans and I have a flatbread that I made in uh, my previous video. I'll have this linked below if you want the recipe for this. These are cheap and easy to make. Well, I'm excited for my dinner, so I better go with the family and start eating. My total on day three is 1,581 calories. Good morning. This is day four breakfast. I have a whole wheat tortilla here cooked in one teaspoon of olive oil on both sides in a frying pan. And then I have a third of a cup of black beans, about three tablespoons of grated cheddar cheese, about a third of a cup of yellow corn from frozen and about three tablespoons of green pepper and two stalks of green onion and a sprinkle of black pepper on the top and this breakfast is about 383 calories with all of these vegetables I feel like I'm off onto a good start to my diet today All right, this is my day for lunch. I know it looks like a lot of food. It is, in a way. I've got a cup and a half of Cheerios here, which is the serving size on the box. I have a tablespoon of almonds in here, two tablespoons of raisins, and on top of that, I'm going to put in this half a cup of cashew milk along with half a cup of whole milk. In addition to that, I have one cup of fresh watermelon, three fresh mozzarella balls, and one slice of Simple Truth nitrate-free lunch meat. I was just craving a little bit of breakfast for lunch since I had a tortilla for breakfast. Do you guys ever crave breakfast for lunch? Because I know sometimes I like to switch my meals around. Depends on my mood, you know. For a snack on day four, between lunch and dinner, I'm having this half a piece of flatbread from a batch of flatbread that I made yesterday. For day four dinner, I'm craving some stir-fried cabbage. I've got one cup of cooked brown rice here, and on top of that, I have one cup of cooked cabbage from fresh, two large slices of yellow onion, sauteed, so the cabbage and the onions were sauteed together in about a teaspoon of olive oil. And then at the end I added in about a little less than a half of a cup of skinless chicken breast. I added in another teaspoon of oil to get that nice fatty texture to it so it didn't burn away in the pan. And then I have a dash of salt on top, black pepper, and paprika. And I have room for a little dessert tonight. Just nice old-fashioned home cooking. Well, we have more of this stuffed Denali Original Moose Tracks ice cream left, so for my day four dessert, I'm going to have half a cup of this. I'm having my ice cream upstairs in my bedroom tonight because I decided I want some alone time. My total on day four is 1,607 calories. Well, I'm starting out my weight loss diary for the day and I have got to tell you I am so 
lazy this morning because I did like a 10 minute ab training routine, you know, do it about twice a week. I did not feel like doing it. I mean, it's only 10 minutes, but I was like, I could not wait until it was over. How about you guys? Do you look forward to your workouts or do you just like want to get them done with already so you can go eat breakfast? Normally on a snowy morning, I would crave something like my oat bran cereal or oatmeal, but I'm actually craving some eggs this morning for my day five breakfast. So I think I'm gonna go with eggs. And you can hear my cats crunching their breakfast in the background too. Okay, this is my snowy day five breakfast. I've got two large eggs, which I attempted to make over easy for both of them. Only one of them turned out over easy because the other one, the yolk just broke in the pan. And uh, I've got two slices of my cinnamon raisin bread here. And overall, I have a teaspoon and a half of butter. So I have, I cook the eggs in half a teaspoon of butter and I have a half a teaspoon of butter on each of these slices of bread. This is gonna be really good this morning. This breakfast is 391 calories. All right, friends, here is my day five lunch. I've got two slices of whole wheat bread with a medium sized piece of green leaf lettuce on it, a slice of Swiss cheese, and just a little bit of um, shredded chicken breast, about two tablespoons worth, because I'm going to have meat with my dinner tonight too. And I don't have mayonnaise or mustard on this actually. I have a half a cup of fresh broccoli, about a half a cup of Bush's baked beans, and about a quarter cup of prunes. Well, I am craving chocolate again for my day five snack between lunch and dinner, so I have a tablespoon of mini M&M's. Just finished seasoning her up with salt, pepper, onion powder, and paprika, and she's ready to go into the oven now. This smell is going to be driving us crazy all day. Along with the roast for day five dinner, we are going to be having some cabbage and carrots and onions roasted with uh, olive oil, vinegar, and spices. And over here, it's potatoes cut up with olive oil and vinegar. It's all specifically red wine vinegar and spices here. I just haven't mixed up the herbs and spices. That's why it's so colorful. Day five dinner. I have half a cup of pork shoulder roast with visible fat eaten, one and a half cups of cooked cabbage, and there's a little bit of onion in there too. I have a medium carrot also roasted, sliced up in there, and I have about a cup and a half of roasted potatoes. Now I made this all uh, for the family as well. So there's oil and vinegar and salt and pepper and spices mixed in here. I have the equivalent of about a tablespoon of oil, olive oil and all of this together. And then the fat from the meat of course is uh, you know naturally occurring. The total on day five is 1,591 calories. Good morning friends, it is day six breakfast and today I am having two whole grain waffles topped with a total of a quarter of a cup of this Greek yogurt right here. So it's basically, I guess, the highest fat Greek yogurt you can get and it's pretty much like cheese to me if you ask me it's really thick anyway it's a quarter of a cup total and then on top of that I have a total of one tablespoon of honey drizzled on top and then topped with cinnamon as well and here I have a cup and a half of watermelon
Okay, for my day six lunch, I have a whole wheat hot dog bun with a slice of uh, Simple Truth nitrate free turkey lunch meat, a slice of Swiss cheese, two teaspoons of olive oil mayo, a sliced up piece of green leaf lettuce, a small piece, and I have a total of about two thirds of a cup of sliced green pepper. I also have some of that on the sandwich in here. 10 green grapes, as well as a serving of sour cream and onion rippled potato chips. For a snack between lunch and dinner on day six, I'm having one of these fruit and grain cereal bars, and that is a 130 calories. So day six dinner is kind of a repeat of last night. I've got a little bit less than half a cup of this pork shoulder roast. I have a combination of about one cup of uh, roasted cabbage and roasted onions and I have less than half a cup of these cooked carrots and I have about one cup of these roasted potatoes and all together this has also about a tablespoon of oil completely. Um, mixed in there in the, from the roasting and I've got a slice of bread here and I also have which I consider special treat for myself I have four ounces of um, it's kind of like apple cider it's honey crisp apple juice and it's cheaper than apple cider but it tastes almost exactly the same and it's really delicious so that is my dinner for tonight I'm in the living room now and I have my plate above a bunch of mail so please excuse the mess. My total for day six and almost to the end of this week is 1,571 calories. It is day seven and my breakfast is one and a half cups of Cheerios, two tablespoons of walnuts, two tablespoons of raisins, half a cup of grass-fed milk, and half a cup of cashew milk. This breakfast is 395 calories. Day seven, lunch. Well, I have a busy filming day today, so I pulled out some pre-cooked black beans I had that I cooked from dried from the bag. So I have a tortilla here of, uh, it's a whole wheat tortilla, and I have half a cup of black beans and a quarter cup of sharp shredded cheddar cheese, about a half of a large leaf of green leaf lettuce, and some streaks of hot sauce in here. I'm also going to have this chewy chocolate chunk granola bar for my lunch. I'm having this pizza for dinner tonight. I have two pieces right here that I am going to devour. It's homemade pizza, and I have a link to this below my video if you're interested in making the crust. It's baking powder crust rather than yeast, and it's pretty easy to make. Today on my seventh day and I'm looking forward to it as a treat my delicious ice cream bar here very good okay guys I made it to day seven of another week and my total today is 1604 calories including my pizza and ice cream hey guys if you are still here uh, I just go over at the end of each of these videos what I would try to do differently if I did the week again. And I would say I would try to do the aerobic exercise that I aim to do twice a week, about 45 minutes to an hour. 
I did not do it. I stuck to my strength training for about 10 to 15 minutes a day, six days a week. That has really been the magic bullet for me for everything, especially appetite control, mood control, anxiety control, and Nothing is ever perfect, but that really has been a godsend. But anyway, I would try to fit in the aerobic exercise again, but I've got to be honest, during the winter time, I just feel like crawling under the covers and hibernating and I guess preserving my energy. I don't know. Let me know in the comments, what kind of exercise do you do in the winter? Do you find that you fall off of it or are you strictly just kind of a diet and nutrition? A person and aren't too worried about the exercise part. I would love to know. Okay guys, I will see you soon. You can find me on Facebook as well as Instagram and the links under the video. All right, take care folks. You can... A diet and nutrition gal. Are you done?